This is the TCL Tab 10 Next Paper 5G tablet. It has a processor that's only half as fast as the slowest previous gen iPads. You're probably going to have a hard time finding third party accessories for it. Well, at least it's cheap and can play Call of Duty at minimum settings. But all of that is not the purpose of this video, guys. I'm here to talk about TCL's special next paper technology that bridges displays on typical tablets with e-ink readers. Imagine interacting with a screen that feels and looks almost like paper minus the drawbacks of an e-ink reader. The TCL Tab 10 Next Paper 5G tablet retails for 250 bucks, and in the business end of things, there's a MediaTek Dimensity lower mid-range 6300 chipset for what it's worth, with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage, and that's expandable to a giant 2 terabytes via microSD. The chipset also has 5G capability, by the way, which is why this tablet is also offered on Verizon right now. But arguably the star of the show is the 10.4 inch next paper 2000 by 1200 pixel LCD with 90 Hertz refresh rate. We'll talk more about that in a second. Battery life on this thing, I was able to get eight hours, 34 minutes in a video rundown test at 65% volume with the screen set at regular display mode and brightness at 50%. But in real world moderate use though, I can get the tablet through about three to four days, which includes browsing the internet, some light gaming, some reading, and a couple of hours of YouTube consumption. The weight on this thing is 485 grams and there is no like case or folio cover or any kind of screen protector included in the box. The chassis as well as the entire perimeter of the unit is aluminum, whereas the back is plastic. You wouldn't be able to tell that this is a $250 device, guys. It's really well put together really nice in the hands there are speakers at the top and the bottom um, sim card and micro sd card slot is right there usb-c charging the power button is also at the top the volume toggles on the side sorry about the focus issues it's really hard to focus with this thing mic ports and everything camera at the front and there is a camera at the back i'm not going to talk you know tablets and cameras they're never really that hot so i'm not gonna really focus on that because the main star as i mentioned before is the display let me bring in side by side with uh, this one, a regular, like this is a Lenovo tablet, same size. You can tell, like, let me just tilt this a little bit here and there in the studio lighting. You can see the amount of glare and very little glare on the next paper version. Look at that. It's just very different. The colors obviously is more oomphy on the regular LCD. And this is a little bit more muted, but it's still very strong. And the fact that there is, there is no glare, which is fantastic for reading like at night or long term or whatever it is. It just, your eyes will thank you for it. There are some bezels around the display, but for a device meant for media consumption and reading especially, that's a good thing because it allows your hand to hold it without accidentally activating the display. TCL's Android skin is pretty light-handed, I must say. Although, since this is a Verizon device, they are the prerequisite Verizon apps and services, some of which you can neither delete or turn off their bloody incessant notification reminders. There are controls for next paper, regular, next paper ink paper and next paper color paper modes in settings as well as in the pull down quick settings in the notification bar it takes a good few seconds when changing mode so some patience is required there speaking of next paper controls in quick settings tcl also sees fit to keep android's built-in reading mode without explaining to users what differentiates the two and if you don't think that's a problem well, good luck explaining that away to your elderly mother over the phone after you buy this for her for Christmas. For the most part, the TCL Next Paper Display Tech delivers on its promise of paper-like viewing and tactility, although I'd say it more precisely mimics coded paper you find in magazines than rougher uncoded ones used for, say, paperback novels. But it's so refreshing, guys, to have an LCD screen or any kind of screen for that matter that looks matte with this technology without being too muted with punchier colors and none of the ghosting issues you find in an e-ink reader. Now, comics are amazing on this. I mean, colors are not as saturated as on regular LCDs or OLEDs, but instead look more like actual print comics without that 2D shine you'll find in digital comics. Even newspapers and novels and textbooks or anything with black texts on white backgrounds 
they don't burn your retina out after just a few minutes of use. And that's huge, guys, particularly in the dark. And with this tablet, my eyes get to relax and enjoy the content rather than constantly fighting against the glare, you know. So next paper works by softening much of the glare emitted by the LCD panel through special layers in the glass, which has two benefits shared with e-inks, namely practically no eye strain plus the ability to view content quite clearly even at low screen brightness. And notice I said quite clearly, because if you really pay attention, text and hard edges on the screen tend to be somewhat soft. And I'm fine with it, but you probably want to test it out first before committing. And another thing to note is that colors and image brightness wash out at anything greater than 45 degrees viewing angle. It's not a deal breaker for me, but again, something to be aware of nonetheless. 250 bucks for something with 5G capability running Android 14, although I'm not sure how long they're going to update that for. And of course, that next paper tech is all pretty good value, as long as you remember that under that display goodness is merely an average tablet. It's, you know, ideal for casual use, multitasking is decent, audio gets decently loud from the speakers, giving up the ghost around 70% volume. Triple A gaming is possible, such as Genshin Impact and Grid. They're enjoyable with everything set at low quality. Build quality is also surprisingly nice. This thing feels solid in the hands. On the flip side, that price of entry also means that there is no bragging rights for performance or endurance. Heck, there's not even a fingerprint sensor on this thing. I'm not sure why, but you know, that's what it is. But all that being said, I wish TCL had offered a substantially more capable and powerful version alongside this, I would say, upper low budget offering. Because for crying out loud, this next paper tech deserves to be shown off on a better LCD panel, pushing higher resolution, faster refresh rates and proper outdoor backlighting. And paired with a speedy processor like something from the Dimensity 9000 Plus series. And I know TCL makes the next paper 14 tablet, but it's not a practical form factor for most users. Plus it's not even available stateside. One last note about performance, changing between next paper ink and color paper modes seem to require a significant amount of processing power and or memory because almost every time I'm reading a news article, for example, and then I change next paper modes, the page automatically refreshes. I am this close to calling next paper a game changer, but not with this hardware. It's really crying out for higher end innards to really show off what it can do because seriously guys, Next Paper is one of those things I wish manufacturers had thought about and developed at the height of LCD popularity because it's really quite impressive even today. Still, I would say that the Tab 10 Next Paper in of itself is perfect as a casual use kind of tablet for yourself or your family member out in the in-law unit. And this thing would make a better alternative to say an Amazon Fire or Kindle for the price and capability combo. Well, this has been the review of the TCL Tab 10 Next Paper 5G, mouthful of a name of a tablet. But thank you so much for joining me today. The fact that you're here means a lot to me. So a million life points to you. And remember, if you like to see more content like this, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and reshare. Yes. And remember to do something loving and kind for somebody in this world, guys. Because if you haven't seen the news, the world needs it more than ever. And it starts with you. I love you all very much. Peace out and God bless.